Um, my name is Leonie Lockstone Binney, and I am an associate professor in the Department of Tourism, Sport, and Hotel Management. I primarily teach into our event management major. What is a sway? What is stream? What are forms? What is Padlet? What is an embed code? How do these new ways of working come together to provide an engaging online learning experience? These were some of the questions that I asked myself in the lead up to trimester two. After scrambling to get our lectures and workshops online midway through T1. After using Universal Capture for the lectures and Teams for the workshops in T1, which seemed like a huge adjustment at the time, little did I know that this was the start of the journey to moving our courses online. Thankfully, our wonderful learning and teaching consultants working as support pairs were assigned to the events major ahead of T2. Primarily working with Cathy Harris, she introduced me to Sways as I furiously scribbled many, many notes. The exemplar Sways she showed me looked highly engaging and very professional. However, like a jigsaw puzzle, initially I struggled to see how everything fit together. I learnt to upload videos to Microsoft Stream and also copy the embed codes into the Sways. So this was all new stuff to me. Challenging in terms of the lectures uh, was chunking down the lecture material into manageable bite-sized chunks. It was initially suggested that they should not exceed nine minutes each. And for me, knowing at what point to close off a recording and to start another took some finessing. And I certainly uh, did exceed the nine minute mark on several occasions. To support these lecture topics, in the Sways I variously used Microsoft Forms to embed polls or quizzes, allowing students to check their learning. In including review questions also in the Sways, I found that Padlet is a great way for students to share their responses. And effectively, this is in the form of an online uh, post-it note board. So this allows students to see each other's comments and they can rate them accordingly. I continue to seek new ways uh, of working to engage our students in the online workshops and have used Forms and Padlet uh, in the workshops as well. Hopefully Teams will continue to evolve as a teaching platform to further support student engagement going forward. On my wish list, uh, refinements to the setting up of uh, breakout groups and the capacity to pop out the chat so that it can be more readily uh, monitored across multiple screens. Whilst receiving some initial positive uh, feedback informally in class, I'm certainly keen to receive the set and the SEC data and to see how students have responded to these significant changes uh, in T2. Confirming the value of lifelong learning, um, I'm sure as you all may have experienced, I could not have anticipated at the start of 2020 the seismic shifts that would occur to then uh, normal teaching practice. Like my colleagues in THS and elsewhere across the university, we have adapted in a highly agile manner and the collective knowledge that we have gained, especially for those of us who had not previously taught online, uh, this knowledge is a valuable resource. Uh, which will continue to support teaching innovations as we adapt to the new normal of fully online delivery. For our event management major, its courses will be offered online and on campus from 2021. So for myself and for my colleagues, our next set of challenges relate to reviewing course content and delivery to ensure an engaging experience that is consistent across all course instances. Best wishes to all colleagues as we progress on our own online teaching journeys. <laughs>